Hey, hello everyone. I hope you and your family are enjoying this time of year, especially with the summer right around the corner. I wanted to take a moment and just share a story with all of you, a story about Joe. See, Joe is a longtime member and like clockwork, comes to the Y each and every day at 4 p.m. where he ultimately makes his way to the pool where he does water walking and then uses a kickboard to push against the water for upper body conditioning. You see, unfortunately, Joe has had multiple back surgeries and has chronic back pain. So on the surface, he turns to the Y as a place of rehabilitation and wellness. It was one day where Joe stopped by my office and he wanted to share really a note of appreciation for the Y staff and the Y as a whole. But in turn, we found out what Joe was really sharing was what the Y means to him. You see, Joe is part of a sandwich generation. He has aging, ailing parents. And with siblings who live in another state, it's his responsibility to be that day-to-day caregiver for, for his parents. Meanwhile, as a parent himself, Joe has two children. Two children at that time recently graduated from college, but were struggling to find employment and were forced to move back home. And and did I mention, Joe also has a full-time job. So as you can imagine, the responsibility placed on, on, on Joe had a significant toll on his overall mental, emotional, and physical well-being. And in many ways, you could fail, you could say it felt crushing. But for Joe, in his own words, the why was his happy place. It was his sanctuary. And as soon as Joe enters the why and gets greeted by our friendly, caring staff, he would say how immediately his mood began to shift. And as he performed his routine in the pool, it allowed him not only to focus on himself, but to recenter. For Joe, the why is more than a place or time in the pool or a place to work out. The why is that place of positive relationships. It's a place of belonging, a place where it supports and fosters his achievement. And because Joe is surrounded in this caring environment, it allows him to focus on his well-being, while in turn allows him to have his, the ability to be his best self for others. Now, Joe's story is just one of many that highlights the impact that the Y has. And that's really the purpose of my message today the importance of storytelling, and the importance of capturing and sharing stories. Unfortunately, because we have uh, so many things that we do, just the sheer number of programs and the wide diversity of people that we serve, there's still confusion in our community of what the why does and our purpose. So stories are important as they help share a clear picture of what we do, how we do it, and most importantly, why we do it. Stories help connect hearts and minds with the intent of inviting others to experience the same impact. As an organization, we have now made it a priority to capture and share stories. Just remember, large or small, we want you to really share them all. Now, you can share your stories at ymcafoxcities.org slash share your story or click on the link below. Have a great day and God bless.